All right, today is Friday morning at 11.30 a.m. Right now we're hiking on the Anton Mountain route to a uh, place in badminton. We got some badminton rackets a few weeks ago, or no, a few days ago. And yeah. So after um, our little hike and play Batman, we are at a pretty good restaurant that's near our um, near our dorm. All right, testing, testing, one, two, three. Mic, mic check. It's my first time shooting in 4K. Hopefully it focuses on my face. Come on, buddy, you can do it. You can do it. Okay. All right, a little bit of warning. This vlog is kind of all over the place because I was slapping together videos, but trust me, it gets a little bit more entertaining. So three hours later, I had my Korean class, which was brutal, just as usual. Uri, Kyoshi, Emida. But right after that, I met up with some people in my program and we went to an animal cafe in Hongdae. So in Korea, animal cafes are pretty popular, but this one in particular had some exotic animals. So as soon as we walked in, we were greeted by this super cute dog and then we bothered the cats a little bit. I'm not really a fan of cats, but you know, they're all over the place. So after hanging around there for a bit, um, we ended up paying 10,000 won just to get in. So I was kind of disappointed, but then they told us that they had a second room. Okay. That room, we got to see foxes, a ferret, and of course, meerkats. I was absolutely in love with the meerkats and we even got to climb into their enclosures. And yeah, you can see why I fell in love with them so quickly. So right before I left, I saw a meerkat parkour himself out of the enclosure. But luckily, Sophie was there to save the day and return him back into the enclosure um, because I was scared that he was gonna bite me. I'm sorry. You okay? Oh yeah, I didn't touch it. Oh, okay, okay. It just makes that noise. So just when I thought that it was all done, they said that there was a third room, and then, yeah, we went there, and we were greeted by some raccoons and mongooses and some other animals, and, I don't know, it just got better and better. The raccoons there were pretty interested in my camera for some reason but I thought it was like super adorable. We saw some other animals before saying goodbye and headed to dinner. And this is when some things got a little crazy, but I, I won't go into the details. The following day, the weather was pretty rough, but Ben, Sky, and I, as well as Tina, one of our program directors, uh, took us on a K-pop tour around Seoul, and we got to see JYP, YG, SM, Pletus, um, yeah, some of the biggest entertainment companies in Korea. Yeah, we were in the rain for like four hours, but I guess it was just such a great opportunity to learn more about K-pop and Korean culture in general. The following day, it was a little bit more interesting. We went to Lotte World, one of the biggest amusement parks in Seoul, and yeah, it was, it was a pretty good day. Alright, so right now we're about to um, buy some school uniforms. It kind of sounds weird, because <laughs> um, I'm kind of weirded out too, but yeah, we're going to buy some school uniforms, because apparently that's a thing when you go to Lotte World. So we were standing in line for the first ride, playing some games, and Carson told me, as a joke, go talk to the girls behind us. And, you know, being the, the social butterfly that I am, I went and we met Hyojin and Ijin, who are some Korean locals, and yeah, we ended up becoming friends with them, and 
Yeah, little did we know we'd be spending a lot of time with them and going on the next few rides together. So Hyojin and Ejin, if you're watching this, it was great meeting you guys and hope to see you soon. Overall, we had a blast, the rides were pretty fun, and I gotta say, we looked, we looked pretty good in the school uniforms. When you get older, wild will live Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next one. Peace. He said one day, you'll leave this one behind.